We have new information about this viral video, pranking San Francisco's car burglars. It turns out one of the men caught on hidden camera got arrested by police that same day and charged with breaking into three cars in a separate incident. I team reporter Dan Noyes worked on that viral video with YouTube star Mark Rober and is continuing to follow leads and joins us now with the latest. This is kind of a wild story. It is. Well, Larry and Dion, I consulted on that video and in this case, I ran the guy's plates. Turns out he used his own car driving to various break-ins and I found us two criminal cases now underway that raise questions about how well the courts address these crimes. I'm so happy. Former NASA engineer Mark Rober set a trap for San Francisco's car burglars. 25 times over eight months, hidden cameras caught them in the act. Once they absconded with Mark's backpack, it shot out glitter and a foul-smelling spray. And it started a countdown that made the thieves toss the bag. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Robert even outfitted one car with bulletproof glass just for the fun of seeing their frustration. When a juicy piece of luggage was just sitting right in plain sight. Then it was my turn to dig a little. And then you could run the plates and do more of like an in-depth investigation. I think the combination of that worked really well. I learned that several of the thieves tried to avoid detection by using stolen license plates on the cars they drove. I showed Gerald Eisman his stolen plate in Rober's video. What do you think about seeing your plate used in a crime like this? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm grateful that uh, I reported it. Some had no plates at all, but in one case... The suspect used his own car with his own license plates. And that's how I found 30-year-old Charvel Augustine of San Francisco. On October 12th, the Thursday evening, he spots one of Mark Rober's bay cars on Bay Street near the Embarcadero, sees traffic coming, so he gets back in. When it's finally clear, he emerges and strikes. The backpack that Rober built sends a text that it's been stolen. The onboard cameras catch Augustine going through the bag. A minute later comes the message, fart spray cannon fired. You can hear the servo motor. No audible reaction from Augustine, but he throws the bag out the window. A little over an hour later, Charvel Augustine has made his way to the Palace of Fine Arts and another of Rober's bait cars. From four different angles, you see him break into the car and take the backpack. Once I ran his plate and found his information, I checked San Francisco Superior Court records. Get this. After he failed to appear in a car burglary case from July, a judge issued a $35,000 bench warrant for Augustine's arrest. The charges? Second-degree burglary of vehicle and possession of burglar tools. What's meant to be a legitimate car escape tool. In that case, police say they recovered U.S., Indian, and Euro currency from Augustine's car, jewelry in a baggie, watches, and more. In his criminal complaint, prosecutors cited three circumstances in aggravation. Great monetary value, violent conduct, which indicates a serious danger to society, and prior convictions. But in a hearing October 9th, Judge Loretta Georgie described the case, quote, looks like it would be easily settleable. She dropped the bench warrant and allowed Augustine to leave OR on his own recognizance. Three days later, Mark Rober's hidden cameras caught him breaking into those two cars. That same day, court records show the plainclothes officers out of Central Station shot their own video of Augustine smashing another car window and connected him to two more break-ins, all rental cars. Police had to use a spike strip to keep him from fleeing in that same car with the same license plate we spotted. Augustine's latest car burglary charges include an allegation of felony committed while on bail. You would have thought this sort of thing doesn't happen. But in fact, it does. Frank Noto of the grassroots campaign Stop Crime SF tells me defendants released while waiting for a trial often commit other crimes. And that since the start of last year, the SFPD made 468 felony arrests of suspects who had been freed from custody pending trial. Oh, that's just crazy. Um, the judges are showing poor judgment there. They're saying this criminal is not going to commit a crime, at least not pending trial. Um, but they're dead wrong. I've been attending Charvel Augustine's court hearings. He has pleaded not guilty to all charges. 
When I approached him, he declined to comment, but do those designer jeans look familiar? His deputy public defender, Bal Dewan, also declined to be interviewed, but emailed me that Augustine is loving and kind and that he takes care of his sick grandmother. She added, incarceration does not solve poverty or deter auto burglaries. District Attorney Brooke Jenkins disagrees, her office telling me that incarceration can be a deterrent to criminals committing more crime. I'll keep track of Augustine's cases as they move forward. You've done some incredible reporting, and it seems like you've had a lot of people that get arrested, released, arrested, released, exactly arrested, right. released. This cycle doesn't end. The cycle doesn't end, but you know, it can have an impact. I'm talking to the cops on the street who are saying that they're seeing fewer car break-ins now, markedly from, from last year, and they think it's because of these renewed efforts. And they also don't mind Mark Rover being out there with his bait cars as well. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, quite effective. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thanks.